it's time we fully unlock this little guy's tank. There it is. This is his first time fully on his tank. Hmm. Do I look like the free? <laughs> so petite. About to give this little guy a nice feast he's been waiting on 1000 dubia roaches right here i had someone ask me a question and i completely read it wrong they asked where do you buy your food for your beardy and i thought they said where did you buy your beardy that's where i get them from dubia roaches.com 1000 extra small dubia roaches for 35 dollar hairs without shipping and here they are look at this No one escapes. Dude, they're all over here. Yeah, there you go. There you go. This is currently a uh, UVB and one of them is a heat lamp. I'm going to go ahead and take off the UVB bulb and add this night light. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one out. It'll make things a little bit nice and hot for this guy. Guy said to wear some gloves. I decided not to wear gloves. <laughs> the reason they said to wear latex. Oh my gosh reason they said to wear latex was our oily skin. They also said to check to see if there's plastic, which it doesn't look like there is. I haven't done this before, promise you. Miss. Oh, is that it? That can't be it, right? Okay, you gotta spin it. Is that spun? This should have a purplish tint, and if it doesn't, it might be defective. You guys ready for this? Oh, shh. Oh my gosh, look at the waves. Purplish tint. Am I blind or something? <laughs> look at him, he's like, I never freeze that. UV light has no effect through glass. The steel meshing is fine, but this wouldn't have an effect if it was over glass. We're gonna go ahead and see exactly the heat. Now with the new bulb, we got him some wax worms. He's never encountered any wax worms. These should be used as only a tree. Hanzo freaking loves wax worms as well. Let's let him heat up for a little bit. These are extremely fatty, which is a reason why he use these as treats. So this is gonna be his very first wax worm ever, dude. Come get this wax worm. You're gonna like it. He's like, all right, all right.
Is this the start of the face reveal video? No. I feel like if I have the face reveal, 10 minutes of Casey E chilling with the rat. <laughs> I'm just like never dressed. Casey E, what time is it? You're still in bed. Oh, I'm freaking tired. I am fatigued. Oh. I'm gonna shower. Big one over there, you should get that big one. I know you guys request to see Hanzo. So Little savage. What's up? It's over here, bro. <laughs> Eat my Buddha. See that cute little face. Little water trucker. Stop tongue punching me. Look at him. He's just waking up. 8:49. He slept in that corner over there by the by the water bowl. He now has all of his cage free and available to run around in. <laughs> that little bastard. The night and day heating lamp, I do turn off the night light just because light does bother them. As long as it doesn't get 65 degrees or colder, he should be good at night sleeping. You know me just freaking about to start editing. This is what freaking life has turned to. These writs are probably like uh, two months old. <laughs> the question everybody's asking, KZE, are you overfeeding Turbo? Are you Turbo overfeeding? Personally trying to get this guy fatter than my ex. I don't believe you could overfeed a baby bearded dragon since when they're full they themselves will stop eating If you have a baby bearded dragon, I would personally recommend feed as much as your wallet allows This is the end result I have for the whole setup. The day running light and the night light. The UVB bulb running all throughout the tank. The reason why I decided to change up the setup. Ideal temperature for these guys is around 95 to 110 degrees. And this was the only spot that would somewhat get to that temperature. So I knew that I needed another heat source. Like I said, these night lights will bother your bearded dragon at night. Since any light affects the bearded dragon. So if it's a little bit colder where you're at and you need another source of heat i would recommend a ceramic heat lamp which will be dangling from this because these red lights do bother and you should not use any type of lighting at night for your bearded dragon the temperature is nice all throughout in several areas which is the biggest reason why i decided to just add another heat source heating is a really big part of their digestive system and how they grow up i decided to make this enclosure a little bit harder for him i don't know if you guys can tell but i can most definitely tell that this guy's ready to eat Fatadalan. i looked over to the first video i filmed and he was so skinny he was so petite just like i'm not sure about the name turbo honestly i might change the name turbo it just doesn't feel right <laughs> I booze up and he boozes up too. It's gonna go ahead and be it for this one guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZ underscore production.